What's going on guys, it's Shane. We are back here again with another video. Today we're going to be returning to Roblox, checking out a game called Bathwick Town. Uh, this appears to be some sort of bus slash tram simulator. Um, I know a lot of you guys are expecting school bus simulators. However, uh, there's a lack of updates within the school bus simulators I have reviewed. So we're going to kind of spend a lot of time reviewing different games. And um, that's been going pretty good since, you know, like the last one was uh, Delivery Industry. A lot of you guys like that one. Um, so today we have Bathwick Town. This just kind of popped up on my little recommendations tab. So uh, we have two options here, ride and drive. Let's click on ride. Uh, I guess you could possibly ride a tram or a bus, uh, but we want to do all the driving today. Uh, so you have a tram and a bus. We're going to start with bus. Uh, hopefully, we, we might be able to get uh, both fit in in one video. Who knows? Um, but uh, the bus models are loading in. I do apologize. Um, now, I tried to do a video on this earlier, but I kind of got messed up. So, there is a bendy bus, which we will be driving. I think it's this one. Uh, I apologize for them not loading in much faster I probably should have let the assets load <laughs> oh boy right, I'm just gonna pause the video and come back when it's fully loaded okay we're back that actually only took a couple seconds but we are loaded here we have this articulated bus here and it looks amazing so we're gonna click next and then I think here you can choose um delivery I believe I kind of like the orange uh, you have different ones here, as you can see. Some of these look pretty cool. Um, wow. Yeah, no, I really like the orange. So we're going to go with that. And then you can select a spawn point. Um, let's go high school. Why not? Um, so this is uh, Bathwick Town. And uh, we are on the right side of the uh, road, so I have to assume this is based out of uh, the United Kingdom, maybe. Uh, some of you guys might be able to let me know down below, but look at this. Here's the high school, apparently. Um, so we have this, like, illuminator thing at the top of our screen. You can kind of hide it. Uh, as far as controls go, we have... It's very simplistic. You got front, back, and... Horn. That's pretty much it. You can't really do anything else, I don't believe. But look at the interior. This is very well detailed. Um, very, very nice. It's not some low poly bus. I mean, this looks great for those of you people who like to drive in first person. I am one of them, so uh, I do appreciate the uh, detail here. Um, so let's see what we can do here. If you, you can kind of go through here and select different displays. Uh, we're at the high school, right? So mm, do we want to select the high school? Man, there's a lot of different locations. Or am I just, okay, uh, let's go this one let's do this one why not so it changes there as you can see so we're going to be stopping at all the ones that have labeled 18 i don't know because i don't know anything about transit buses in general you guys know that however i'm definitely not going to know anything about it when it comes to driving them in the uk so uh let's go ahead and get on the road here you can watch the articulated bus do its magic watch this it's a little janky, but uh, it works, kind of. <laughs> it kind of works. Oh, we're on the wrong side of the road. What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> we're going to stop here just because. So front and back. Oh, my God. This bus is beautiful, though. Oh, my goodness. The color is just so cool. Now, they also had a double-decker as well. Uh, you could be driving one of those, which is pretty cool. I don't think there's any sort of, like, leveling system or anything. I think everything is automatically given to you off the start. You know, I don't think there's a currency or anything, uh, which is pretty cool, I guess. Uh, and I have no idea where we're going. We have UI that displays 
numbers and stuff for routes. But we actually probably wanted to start at the university. I don't know. What I'm here for is to kind of review everything, see how the game operates and how well it looks. Uh, as you can see, we got some tram tracks here. I guess that's what you would call them. Uh, this is a one way, so we can theoretically go anyway here. Oh boy, it gets a little cramped down here. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Look at that. That's beautiful. Amazing scenery as well. The building is honestly spectacular. And I say that and we hit a dead end, don't we? Okay. We did hit a dead end. Good thing we can kind of just back up like this. This is not legit at all. Oh, no. Not legit, not legit. Okay, there we go. So you got a bus stop here. None of these are our stops. We're just, we're just stopping at them to stop, I guess. I guess we can start driving on the interior view. Man, look at this. Can you control that? No. Does it light up on the inside? Uh, I don't think it does. No. How about on the back? It shows a number on the back. All right. Let's see if we can do this. Absolute pro driver here. This is so strange to me. I already have a hard time driving these buses on the right side of the road. Now we're driving them on the left. You're left of the road. I hope you are filming me. You guys remember that video? So it looks like got a lot of construction here. Uh, we want to get to a different part of the map. So we're going to go outwards over here is the proper direction. This definitely gives you the feel of being in the United Kingdom. However, you know, when, like I said, I tried to do a video on this earlier. Um, if I can find it, there's a, there's a spot in the map where the map actually elevates in terrain. And it's absolutely amazing. The view is just so cool. Um, let's go this way. I want to see if I can find it. It's almost like driving in San Francisco. You'll see. It's like on a... Uh, it's like on a slope and there's cars on both sides of the road. Oh, look at that. Oh, gosh. I can't wait to drive the trams. Those are going to be pretty cool. I want to see how those operate. I was about to ask, do we have any traffic lights? We do. So there's one there. Man, look at the homes here. Wow. A lot of, like, in America, we call these townhomes. Uh, that's what you would call them here in America. What are they called in the UK? I know they like to call apartments flats, I believe. Hopefully I'm right on that. Mm. Looks like a big shopping outlet over there. But uh, when I kind of put this game, uh, I kind of well when I'm when I'm playing this game, I think of playing. Oh, I can't go over there. Okay. Um, it kind of feels like I'm playing that one game. I think it's called Can Canterbury, I think. Um, however, when I put two and two together, this game is definitely a lot nicer. Uh, and Canterbury is a nice game as well. 
But this is just amazing. Look at this. Am I going the right way? I have no idea. Look at how, look at these complex road systems. Wow. I don't even know what that means. What is that? Dude, dude, there's no way I'd be able to be a bus driver in this city. My goodness. Do you have to worry about which way the trams are going and everything? No way. The people in the UK have it harder for them. You know, when it comes to driving just in general, the roads are narrower and they have to, I mean, a lot of the vehicles there are still like manuals and stuff. It's crazy. I have no idea where I'm going. Uh, it seems like all the lights are lit up on this one. I don't know what that means. That means everybody go. <laughs> okay, it seems like there's some terrain over there. So we're going to kind of... Oh, wait. Oh, there's some over there as well. Let's go this way. I can't drive like this. I feel like I'm going to hit something. <laughs> Oh, look, we have some other person. Nice. So, look, you got the uh, the open country here, which is pretty cool. Man, this map is huge. Look at that. This is just amazing. Anyway, we're going to uh, switch over to the trams and see how those operate. So we'll be right back. All right. So we're going to click drive, trams, and we have a few here. Some of them are game passes. So it looks like you only have two available uh, off the rip, right? Okay. So... Uh, they're still loading in, so <laughs> I do apologize. Um, I think, yeah. Let's see, are these the same? No, one of them's a bit different. Uh, and it shows the difference here on the right, the details. Um, max number, max speed, 50. Okay, cool. So we're going to just go with, we're going to go with this one. No, we'll go with this one. Um, select the tram, 2001. No, 2003. That's the year I was born. Why not? Uh, spawn point. Let's do Arnold. Spawn. Let's see what this is looking like. Huh. We we're already here. Okay. Look at this. This is beautiful. This map is amazing. By far the best thing it has going for it, for sure. Okay. So... I, Arnold Square, why not? Okay. So, do these buttons actually work? They do. Look at that. Door open, door close. Is it going to close? Yep. There they go. Okay. Uh, map route. What does that do? Oh, pulls up a map. Okay, so what did we select? We select Arnold Square. That's where we're starting. So actually, we want to change that to uh, the airport. So we're starting here and we're ending at the airport. Um, switch side. I think that switched to the doors. Okay. Uh, nice. Or no. Oh. You can go, f oh, oh, I see. Okay, cool. All right, so let's go ahead and get on the road. No, I'm just kidding. Not the road. Uh, okay, we want to go throttle 25%. So it seems like you can only, it has a threshold. You can only go between 25, 50, 75, and 100. Oh, God, slow down. 
slow down. <laughs> okay. I don't know what any of those diamonds mean. Or actually, those would be Rubus. Is that the correct? I Actually, Rubus. Rhombus. Rhombus? Wait a minute. Oh, no, 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 stop, stop, dead. Just kidding, we can go through them, good. And we totally just missed the stop as well. Yeah, we definitely did. That's okay. Because there's another one up here. No, there's not. Yes, there is. Where's the emergency brake? Stop. I don't know if there's an emergency brake. So we're we're in Daybrook, okay. So we'll stop here, okay, and then we'll open doors. That is beautiful. Oh, it's got a PA system. Nice, very nice, very nice. I just turned on my scroll lock. Okay, doors close. Okay, and we have the go. Oh, look at that. It's animated right there. How cool is that? Man, the level of detail on their interiors and their map in general is just amazing. Like I said, that's that's what it's got going for it for sure. The level of detail within the game. Now we're in a tunnel. I actually want to get out on the road. Like, you know, where the tram gets out on the road. Can we do that? Oh, slow down. Slow down. Stop, 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 stop. We stopped just in time. Let's go. Wow. That was very quick. This is a Somerset Airport service. The next stop will be Sherwood Road. Nice. And now we're at, uh, where are we? Vermonzi Park. Monty. Okay, so we're just getting started. We won't stop at all these just for time's sake, video's sake. All right. Now, they don't have any animated passengers, which some games do have, which is pretty cool. Um, that's okay. That's okay. I just kind of like reviewing different games and stuff and kind of how I mentioned at the beginning of the video uh, So we're kind of backing off school bus simulators simply because I've kind of reviewed them all really if, if I haven't reviewed one you guys do want to see it. Let me know down below um, But from now until I get back from North Carolina, it's just gonna be quite a bit of uh, videos on random different games uh, ones that I find off my um, you know recommended page or whatever so and if you have any uh you'd like to see on the channel let me know down below and i do realize i missed the stop i did that on purpose i did that on purpose okay so we have a platform on our right side now so i think what we'll do is open the doors to the right um door open there we go Will be West One Retail Park. Very cool. Or close. So he can drive with the doors open. That's crazy. That's actually wild. <gasps> We're on the road. We are on the road. Nice. Look how cool this is. Wow, this is awesome. So where's our next stop at? Uh, it was, I forget what it was. Is it, it's coming up, isn't it? Yeah, it's right here. It's right, it's literally right here. You, my goodness. Oh, I stopped way too early. Oh, wrong doors. Wrong doors.
All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and get to the end of the destination. We're going to go to the airport now. Close this door, please. Oh, that's the wrong door. No wonder. Oh, boy. Yeah. We're going to go full speed. See what happens. I th wonder if we can derail. We're about to find out. I'm just going to go full speed. Oh, my goodness. Wow, look at this. Beautiful. Oh, there's a player right there. Oh, look at the lever. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it kind of slows you down here, doesn't it? So I think the airport's coming up somewhere. Where are we at now? What is this? That was Avon Road, I think. The airport's right there. There it is. Oh God, we gotta slow down. Look at that one. Very nice. We get up here and we're gonna wrap up the video but yeah very nice map very big perfect size perfect amount of detail got another bus there very very cool oh god stop dead all right well we get up out of our seat oh we can it just despawns our tram okay um so that was uh, Bathwick Town. Uh, apparently they had a Metro update. I don't know if I reviewed that in this video or not. Uh, but if you guys do wish to play it yourself, it will be linked in the description down below. If you have a game you'd like me to check out, let me know down below. And if you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll uh, catch you guys next time. Peace.